Hey everybody, this is Trailer Jam, and today we're gonna watch My Little Pony French Miss Magic Season 9 Episode 19, and I once again don't have the episode title. I am also recording this episode in advance, so I just yesterday watched episode 18, and that means I don't really have anything new to tell you, so let's cut this intro short and get right into the episode. Here we go. And here we are. Rarity. Hello? Yeah, I think that is his room. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. I was starting to think you weren't here. I realize this is last minute, but I've decided on a what quick trip want? to the gem cave. I am the on gem an cave. urgent mission to find some faceted iridescence for my new design. And I can't think of any pony I'd rather have along than my favorite basket holder slash bodyguard, <laughs> Spike. Basket holder. He's not interested. Spike. Spike. <laughs> wow, you can oh, yell so loud. The what is that? Honestly, Spike, it's almost as if you haven't been listening. He hasn't. Oh, uh, of course I was. What uh, were you writing, and where did you send sure? it? Could you say it all again? Yeah. I was saying that I had planned on visiting the gem cave. Oh no! Is that the time? Yes, no. it is. But actually, it's a clock. Oh, it's the mask matter on at all. Power points. Oh, it's kind of distracted by the poster when it came. The real question is, which basket do you want to hold? None of the them. The smaller one, right? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, Rarity. Can I take a rain check on... What was that again? <laughs> the gem cave? Right. Sounds great. But I need to get to the post office before noon. <laughs> what do you need right, the post office for? You, you can get the basket, send your mail yourself. What the? Spike? Well, Rarity got denied. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is this the episode where the Spike Rarity crush ends? That would be something if we finally got that over with. But I guess he's just preoccupied with something else. And judging from the poster, it's probably Power Ponies related. He's getting his fanfiction published or something. I don't know. We shall see. So yeah, Spike episode, it seems. For as long as we've known each other, Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. Yeah. Ideally, you catch the gems, dear. Is it Maud? Dragon Dropped by Josh Haber. Okay. Maybe you should move closer. Is it Maud or who is it? Yes. Oh, it's AJ. Honestly, Great head. If you're going to fill in, you could make an attempt to hold the basket the way Spike would. That and doesn't work. That? Well, for one thing, Spike knows how to keep things quiet so as not to waken the bats. The bats are still a thing in that cave. It's hard enough. He usually follows me closely so no gem ever touches the ground. Hmm? Rarely. Spike's been following you closely since he got to Ponyville. Yeah. And in case you hadn't noticed, I ain't Spike! <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for the gem, gem hunting. Um, hi, Rarity. What's up? <laughs> you weren't doing anything illegal, were Besides you? Besides my mane? Well, that is a question for Spike. Oh, That's a good look well, on you. Spike isn't here. Why did you bring the couch? What's your problem, Rarity? What's going on? Spike declined my invitation to the gem cave, and I intend to find out why. You could just ask him, you know. Did you two have some sort of fight? A fight? Goodness, Twilight! What in the question would we fight about? I don't know. A lot of things. And they can put a real strain on friendships. Well, thank you, certainly. Professor. But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't realize it? 
Do you think you could have done something that unintentionally hurt his feelings? Rarity. No, I never. What I did. How would I know what I have done when I did it? I wonder if that's it. It certainly would explain his behavior. I must apologize. Uh. What? Oh, that's hardly the point. <laughs> Poor Spikey Wikey. This goes for a grand gesture. Yeah, I don't think she did anything okay, wrong. Good talk. Well, she probably did a lot of things wrong, but not in this. Oh, hey, Kenny. Um. Wow, that's a big of she money. talks. I'm not nailing it. Holy crap. Then why are you pushing it into the post office? Oh, I didn't realize Griffins worked at the Ponyville post office. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't work here exactly. Has the, the CMC badge. Of Griffinstone. Gabby Griffin. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> oh, yes, well, uh, these things aren't for sending. They're for apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us a... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice. Uh, you stand there and tell me <laughs> if I hit the right apologetic notes. Rarity. apologizing for? Darling, I don't see why that matters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Spike is upset with her. And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. Because I am prepared to do anything to make it right. Let's see. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, sorry, dear. I said that sure sounds genuine. Well, yeah. What are you doing? Obviously, Nobody I'm knows. On my apology to you, Spike. I don't know how I could be more genuine. I mean, <gasps> Spike! <laughs> oh, Spike! I am so sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. You have to forgive me. She hit the cat. Good job. It's not about you. Of course I forgive you, but uh, what are you apologizing for? <laughs> Why does every pony keep hopping on that? Wait, don't you know? No, I'm not mad at you about anything. <laughs> but, but, but I don't understand. If you're not upset with me, why in Equestria would you refuse to go to the gem cave? Uh, because I had other plans? With me! Oh, uh, okay. <gasps> <laughs> really? Is Rarity getting... Is Rarity getting jealous here? Are you... I don't understand. You two know each other? Gabby and I are sort of pen pals. Yeah! There was this whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because Griffinstone yeah. get cutie marks, so Princess Twilight had spikes and a bunch of letters off to Griffinstone about the first Griffin ever to get a cutie mark, which I really didn't have. Gabby, go back you already sent me. And after that, Good we job. started writing back and forth. Both come from cultures that don't have the friendliest of reputations. And we're both in the message sending business. Uh -huh. And you both have no manners. I can send scrolls with my breath. Yes. Now I understand why you didn't come to the gem cave. Having a friend in town is a rare treat. Look, since you're busy today, maybe we can do something tomorrow. Fabric shopping? I know how you love to pick out the colors. Nah. Actually, that's not too that. There's a Griffin at Twilight School. Gabby's here all the time. Rapid Grub asks for a lot of updates about how Gallus is doing. <sighs> Speaking of which, I better get going. And I'll play with you. Well, all right, you two fly along. I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Rarity! I'm having a hard time sympathizing with you here. They are both purple. There's the pink! How will I ever choose? Too bad Spike's not here. I bet he could help you narrow it down. He is a good sounding board, isn't he? Yeah.
Yeah, that one tastes too green. Just buy all the gems if you can't decide. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, that's a huge cucumber slice. And now she's starting to miss him. Amazing. After all these years. Now that Spike's always so busy with Gabby, I'm just now realizing how much his presence has meant to me over the years. Get in closer, darling. I don't want to prick you. Who I is it? Is there even anyone? Less than without him. Oh, it's Fluttershy. Oh, darling. It's no use. Thank you for trying. I'm just accustomed to the help of a small, highly attentive dragon. Maybe you should let Spike know how grateful you are for everything he's done for you. Nah, she can't do that. Not without completely going over the top. And cue the over the top, pretty much, now. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Spike. I there we are. You. Rarity, what are you There's doing? a horse standing on well, my I bed. Oh, rather, Please stop that. The what now? The why now? Whoa! It is only accessible once a year, and I thought a little day trip would make a wonderful thank you. And of course, it is today. Oh, but I'm supposed to meet Gabby today for her round. I see. Oh, there's always next year. Yeah. You know what? I'll just write her a note. Are you sure? Absolutely. Rarity, you are very much in the wrong here. Oh, it's the wow. outfits from Rarity, you weren't kidding. The gem from the uh, was amazing. I'll be snacking on these for a week. Best gift ever. What did what I tell you? Hey, Spike. Gabby, you won't believe where I went today. Actually, I think I will. I got your scroll. The great gem crevasse sounds a lot better than doing my rounds. Mm-hmm. I gotta get back to Griffinstone, but you have to tell me all about the crevasse tomorrow. Absolutely. Ugh. Thanks again, Rarity. What a great day. Yeah. Okay, start from the beginning because I want to hear everything. Well, to get to the crevasse, you have to climb. Rarity is road. gonna try new shenanigans the every day. Necessary, Spike. In fact, I was just looking for you. Yeah. You yeah. She has something Besides, planned. I just acquired these. What are those? Power pony palooza for today. How convenient that it is today. The crevasse, but I feel I've barely scratched the surface of expressing my gratitude for all you do. Well, yeah. Of course, I want to go, but that'll be two days in a row we haven't hung out. Oh, are you kidding? It's Power Pony Palooza. You have to go. And now you have It's kind of like Bronycon. Only it's okay. still going on. Come on, Rarity. Let's go. Sorry. Yeah. Whew. My 
claws soar. Indeed. I had no idea how much walking there is at a power uh, pony convention. That is a great main style for you. Oh. Uh, I know I told Gabby we'd hang out tomorrow, but I might need the whole day to rest. Ooh, I know what you mean. Perhaps you could uh, just send her another note. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I can see this going south quickly. I might need to spend tomorrow putting my hood up as well. <laughs> Let's see how long this continues before everything breaks apart. I hadn't counted on Power Pony Palooza being quite so draining, but I thought they might spend the day recuperating together. No way. Ogres and Oubliettes? Um, I enjoy it, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity for you to teach me the game. Yeah. And then they were no longer friends. Bye! I got your note! I figured I'd come by before my rounds with a bowl of energizing turnip soup. Why turnip soup? Nobody wants that. <laughs> now I'm taking Rarity's side. Use her shield of the coiffure to defend herself from the purveyor of poor color coordination. <laughs> what? <laughs> purveyor of poor color coordination? What a terrible enemy. Success! Shmerity's shield holds against the green eyed monster's attack. And that bike? Yeah. Oh, hi, Gabby. We were just. Your scroll said you were too tired to do anything today. But yeah. I guess you were just too tired to do anything with me. No, 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 that's not true. I can come with you on your rounds right now. I don't think so, Spike. Maybe I'll just handle the rounds on my own from now on. Ooh! Princess Shmarity uses her prismatic beam to change that poor monster's color to a more blazing shade of purple. Don't use prismatic beam. You have no idea what that does. Nobody does. It depends on the color that hits the enemy. At least it was that way in 3rd edition. What do you think, Spike? Solid or print? <sighs> print, I guess. No. We already have a lot of solid colors. Ooh, yeah, so right. take print the solid ones. Is. That looks terrible. That, so that's nice not good. Back, Spike. Although, I hope you're able to reconcile with Gabby. <laughs> Selfie time with a Polaroid camera. Pretty sure she doesn't want to. Yeah, Spike is thrilled as all hell. <laughs> Good job, Rarity. <laughs> is there anybody on this planet who likes cucumbers? seen Spike this sad before. Do you know what happened? Yeah, rarity <laughs> happened. Perhaps he's still just tired from Power Pony Palooza. I don't think that's it. Yeah. I suppose it's possible it could have something to do with <coughs> Gabby not wanting to spend time with him anymore. What? <laughs> I thought the two of them were hanging out all the time. They were! Honestly, Until rarity interfered. Between Crystal Gem crevasses, Power Pony conventions, and a marathon game of O and O, I managed to get some time in. It sounds like you made sure yeah. you didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. What? <laughs> I certainly did not. Yes, you certainly did. Well, I suppose I may have monopolized him a teeny bit. <sighs> I've just grown so used to having Spiky Wiky around. I wasn't prepared for how much I'd miss him when he wasn't. Friendships change. But just because Spike made a new friend doesn't mean he stops being friendships yours. change. I, know, I wonder I him. if this. Which I suppose I'll have to get. I wonder if this actually means that right after I fix this we mess finally I move past the whole crush situation. Good talk. Why are there two couches now? <sighs> Sent them into an active volcano or something like that. Rarity is all this stuff for Spike again? Wouldn't it be easier to just give it to him? And why are you even here? I am here to apologize, actually. More to confess. And all of this stuff isn't for Spike. It's the evidence against me. Evidence? 
For what? For my acts of utter selfishness! <laughs> I don't understand. These are the items I use to lure Spike into spending as much time with me as possible. They are? You did? Rarity? What are you doing? Well, obviously, Nobody I'm really knows. Gabby, so the two of you can renew your friendship, Spike. Now, please, even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive <gasps> Frank! Oh, I actually owe you an apology, too. You apologize. You have to apologize to everyone. I wish I didn't need to. But the more time you two spent together, the more I missed my time with Spike, and the more I used every means at my disposal to get it back. I am truly sorry. That face on Gabby, yeah. You really miss spending time with me? Oh, of course! I have to say, after not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of awesome! And <laughs> I know what it's like to miss that now, too. So, do you think maybe we could start hanging out again? Absolutely! I don't suppose you'd like some company on your rounds right now. I sure would! Wonderful! I can't tell you how pleased I am that the two of you have... Yeah. <laughs> Reconciled. I suppose Twilight is right. Friendships do change. Who is now with you? Is it Pinky? Of course, Spike and I will always be friends. And I can get used to sharing him. Oh, and she's the one who... Yeah, she's the one who hadn't Sorry, been here. I just didn't want to drop another one and wake the bats. Darling, catching the gems is what the basket is for. Wow, you two need to be a lot quieter. Spike! How wonderful to see you! Rarity, you're yeah, too loud. Gabby and I had a great day, but I'll always still want my rarity time. Good job, Pinky. Well, this was an episode. I'm honestly not entirely sure how I feel about this one. I mean, it wasn't bad and I really like that we got to see Gabby again. It's uh, been a while. Nice to see her again in a real episode uh, where she even has a talking role. But as for the overall premise, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think my main problem here is the whole Spike Rarity relationship dynamic. Uh, at least to me, Rarity always appeared to be, you know, kinda taking advantage of Spike, since he's crushing on her and she is pretty much using that to her advantage. And I know for a fact that I'm not the only one who thinks that way. So when she feels bad about him spending time with Gabby, you know, this seems petty and jealous at best and possessive and entitled at worst. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that. I I just don't know. It it kind of feels weird. I definitely feel like Rarity is depicted pretty badly here. There's one word she said at the beginning when she tried to apologize to Spike. She used the term genuine for her apology. And genuine is not a word that I would use to describe her in this episode. Uh, on the contrary, I feel like everything she did in this episode was done to, well, fulfill her own needs uh, and get her away so she will have someone to carry her luggage and check the gemstones if they are real and whatever the hell Spike does. And yeah, that, that doesn't sit too well here. I gotta say this is sometimes a problem that I have with Rarity. Sometimes she just feels very selfish and manipulative, to put it bluntly. And those aren't exactly the best traits for main characters who are not supposed to be villains or antagonists. I don't know, not a huge fan of this episode, but still could have been worse. I mean, at least the thing that bothers me is something that has bothered me before about a certain character. And yeah, now you know why Rarity is not my favorite. But overall, uh, well, it was still an okay episode, mainly due to Gabby. I'm really glad we got to see her again. And overall, there were some funny scenes, so at least that's that. But overall, not that great in my opinion, but yeah. They can't all be winners. I mean, yesterday, or last week rather, we had a surprisingly good solo Fluttershy episode, and this time we had a surprisingly underwhelming rarity episode. 
I guess that's how things even out. Because Rarity, while not my favorite character, she usually has some pretty good solo episodes and I guess that's only fair that she has a, well, below average one. I'm not gonna say terrible or bad or anything, but below average. Let's call it that. I think that's fair to say. And I think that is a good closing word, or as good a closing word as any. So if you did like the reaction, please consider leaving a like on the video and or subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, DeviantArt, or throw money at me over on Patreon. And as always, I have been Stratagem, thanks for watching and see ya next time.